This afternoon, we're talking with Leif Erikson. Jacobson. Jacobson. <laughs> well, okay. sorry, I'm sorry. Camera. And his, this car that we're going to look at was originally owned by his grandfather, right. Lars. Lars Jacobson. Jacobson. Yes. Okay, very good. Now, this is your dad's car? My dad currently owns and races this car. Okay, so we don't really own these cars. We are just the caretakers. Is <laughs> right. that correct? Yeah. And do you own an MG? I own an MGB GT. All right. Good. Well, tell us a little bit about the car, Leaf. Well, the car's a 1934 MG NA Special. Um, it originally uh, looked like uh, this red car over here, Terry Sanders' car. Um, when it came from the factory, it was converted to a racing special um, in the mid-1950s by my grandfather, who shortened the chassis by eight inches. In what uh, year was that? Uh, that would have been in about 1953 to 55. Okay. Um, and, uh, so, you know, he, he raced the car as it is for a little while um, before it was parked all through the 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s until my, my father uh, reconstructed it in the mid-90s and has been racing it since. There's a couple of things in this car that I've noticed that are, are very unique that I've never seen before. First of all, it has an independent front suspension, but it doesn't have springs, it doesn't have torsion bars, it has bungee cords. If you want to take a look at them with the camera, you can look at them best in the front here. And I don't completely understand how it works. It looks like it does have some sort of a uh, pivot arm there. Correct, yeah. It, it's got upper and lower arms, which it pivots on. So this is an N-type MG. It's an MGNA 1934. MGNA 1934, okay. And it was shortened, the wheelbase was shortened. The wheelbase was shortened you know, 8 inches. What is it? What's the wheelbase now? I don't know exactly what the wheelbase is, but it, it's 8 inches shorter than what an NA should be. It probably looks like about a 90-inch wheelbase, similar to an MGP. I, it's it's definitely shorter wheelbase than an MGB. Oh, it is. We've had them we've had them in the garage next to each other. Okay. Then tell us a little about about the engine. It's obviously the engine type is what? It's a six cylinder um, o overhead cam, um, and it, uh, it originally was 1271 cc. Um, this particular one is now about 1428 cc, uh, which my grandfather did in the 50s for mm -hmm. racing purposes. Um, when he raced it in the 50s, it would have had a supercharger on it. Okay. Obviously, it's, it's now just got original um, SU carburetors on it, okay. um, which are, of course, pre-war carburetors. They are pre-war. They are, yeah. Okay. They look like the each series carburetor, right? Which um, I'm not real aware yeah, of. Yeah, you'll I'm notice, of course, they've got they've got the float bowl on the side, right? Um, and and one way you can tell that they're pre-war is by looking at the dashboard. But you can see it's just round all the way. If you look at a more modern one, you'll see it's got a little notched uh, support on it. Yes, yes. So that's one way you can tell these are pre-war carburetors. And then you got this little pin here to make sure that your fuel, uh, right, uh, uh, your needle and seat remain open or they will open. Right. So it's 1400 and 1428 cc. 1428 cc. Do you know what kind of horsepower it's got leave? Uh, we estimated at, at about 80 horsepower right okay. now. Okay. Um, it, originally when they came from the factory, they I believe they were about 56 horsepower. Okay. Um, so the, this one, of course, is a little upgraded. Um, we've, of course, replaced the pistons and the rods. Right. Um, you know, so, um, it, you know, it, it puts out a little more than it did stock. But the, the transmission, is it's uh, it's a TC gearbox that's in it right now. It is, okay. Right. Uh, originally, it, you know, it had a crash box, uh, okay. you know, similar to these cars. Um, and when my grandfather raced it, he had a pre-selector gearbox. Okay. Uh, that that pre-selector thing, I have not quite figured out yet, but I sort of think I know. <laughs> so are there any synchro? on the gears at all? Uh, there are in this since it's a TC box. Okay, so uh, the pre-selector doesn't need them. Obviously, it operates with, with bands similar to a, an automatic transmission. Um, so what you would do, you've got a little lever on the steering column, which you'll you'll put into gear before it actually shifts. And then when you want to shift, you just sort of tap the clutch and it, and it shifts for you. Cool. Kind of sounds like the electronic overdrives. Mm -hmm. Very similar idea, yeah. yeah. And so you've got a 67 MGB. I have a, it's a 69 MGB. 69. Right. GT. Right. And uh, tell us a little bit about the car, Leaf. Uh, about my B? Or? Yes. Is it here today? Uh, it's not here today. Unfortunately, we suspect the crankshaft broke on the oh, Thursday dear. before we were going to leave, so oh, I, I didn't get to drive it. Oh, dear. Well, thank you very much, Leaf. Thank it was you. a pleasure talking with you. Yeah.